After 22 days, the pro-Palestine protest and encampment at the Auraria campus in downtown Denver may soon be over. Let's get straight out to our very own Gabby Easterwood, who's live on the campus for us this morning. And Gabby, things have started changing a little bit here in just the last 30 minutes or so. Yeah, Ashley, we actually noticed that some campus police arrived here and you can see that they are still here on scene this morning. Some of them kind of going to some of the tents and waking up some of these protesters that did camp overnight and some of them kind of just speaking with the campus police as well. We're not exactly sure what those conversations have been because the uh, campus police are still over there, but after they leave at the scene, we will continue to try to speak with them and see exactly what's going on with those conversations. But of course, like we said last night, some of these uh, protesters did speak with our Fox 31 crew as they were taking down some of these tents. And if you've been following this story, you can see that these tents here, the number of tents this morning is a lot less than we have seen throughout this entire demonstration, especially um, over the last two weeks. And as you know, they have had several demands throughout their time here with the demonstration starting back on April 25th. Now they demanded the schools cut ties with Israel and to disclose any financial investments that could be aiding the war. They also demanded to meet with Auraria officials, which did happen multiple times. There were also two incidents this week where the campus was put on lockdown as protesters entered campus buildings and refused to leave. Now protesters on site calling this a success last night, but they said this is not the end of their mission. Some of those students saying that they were going to have a smaller protest and encampments on other spots within the campus. Um, my photographer and I drove around this morning and we did not see any of other tents on other parts of the campus, but they say that you could potentially see some protesters near higher state leaders. Wherever there is uh, administration, you should you should expect to see us. You know, um, insofar as there is a genocide going on, there will not be business as usual for the administrators on this campus, for the people in power in the state of Colorado. Now, as we've been reporting since the beginning, there have been citations and arrests along the way. 80 people were issued citations for trespassing, with the majority not being Auraria campus students. But back here live at the campus, you can see now those uh, campus police standing there just kind of monitoring the situation this morning. And campus officials have estimated that the demonstration has cost the campus nearly $290,000. So definitely a pretty penny for the last 22 days of this demonstration. And as for if this is over at this point, it will depend on if we see this morning if these tents are taken down. We will continue to monitor the situation with campus police here on scene as well. Live in Denver, Gabby Easterwood, Fox 31.